So our tablet comes preloaded with about 22 to 24 applications. If you're wanting to install a new application, you'll always visit our Bibles on store. It's like a marketplace. It's exactly like a marketplace. It's just called a Bibles on store. Once you select it, it'll load up. It may take a few moments. Sometimes it won't just always go directly on here. Um, if there's new applications available is when it'll load up a little longer. So just be patient with the screen and it'll connect. Okay, so here is where you'll find all our applications. Um, for the most part, they all are free. Here in language, I did want to go over, um, I did state for the most part our applications are in English, but we do have a few available in Spanish. And so if you click on Spanish, you'll find which applications are available. Okay, it's going back. We'll get over to categories. And um, to switch from different tabs, you can either slide your finger below or just tap on it above and it'll take you right to it. Also, if you're wanting to search for something in particular, you'll just use the search. So let's say I'm looking for a Bible. So anything in relations to Bible, we'll get it on here. Also, if you want to go just to categories, it'll have it a little bit more organized for you. So you'll have your prayers, other kids, hymns, daily readings, confession, Catholic media, catechism, book, and Bible. So let's say um, you're wanting a different version of the Bible other than the one downloaded already into the tablet. You'll just select Bible and we'll have every version available here for you to download. So we do have an audio Catholic Bible available. If you're wanting it to be read to you, I suggest just downloading the audio Catholic Bible. We're actually gonna be installing an application so you can see, say you want the New American Bible. You'll just select it. It'll take you to this little pop-up. It'll give you a description and you'll just select install. Once it's installing, you'll know it's installing if you get this little arrow on the top left screen. Point to that again. Can you pick it up there? Sure. And go ahead. Okay. So you know, you'll know that your application is being downloaded if you look on the top left corner there's an arrow pointing down and sometimes it'll be flashing. So once it stops flashing is when you know that it's actually installing. And so it'll either pop up to a screen like this. In the case this screen doesn't pop up but the arrow has stopped flashing, you can always slide it down. It'll say download complete. You'll click on it and this will just, it'll pop up the same as if it wasn't there. So it'll direct you to where you need to go next. So you'll just hit next, install. So we'll just wait for it to install. I'm um, just depending on your router. Sometimes it's really fast. Sometimes it can take a little while. Um, if it takes too long, always, right now it's not showing because it did download, but the arrow will still be there, and so you can always drop down to see where it's at exactly. So you'll just hit done, and then open. Okay. And so here's the application we've just downloaded. So going back to the home screen, We're going to go to the third page. Um, let me see.
we're going to have to clear these out. Um, okay. Going back to the home screen, you'll find that your new application has been added. Sometimes it'll take it directly to the last page at the very end. Sometimes it has a mind of its own and it'll just pop up either on the first or second page. And you will notice that uh, depending on which application you use the most, they'll reorganize themselves every now and then. So the most used will be on the front page. So if that ever happens, just make sure you can always go back into the marketplace, which is the Bibles on store, and just search for the application you downloaded and you'll see that it's downloaded on there. So it'll go back to installed. And you can always open it through here if you'd like. We're going to go back into the Bible. I'm going to show you how to uninstall an application. So going back to the one I just installed, there's two different ways for you to uninstall an application. You can do it directly through the marketplace or you can go into settings and I'll show you how to do that next. So right now we're in the marketplace, we're going to uninstall it directly. So you'll just select uninstall. Do you want to uninstall this app? Yes. Or okay. So it shows uninstall finished. You'll still see that it says installed, but like I said, sometimes it does need to refresh itself, so we'll need to close out of this browser. You'll just select the button next to the home screen. It'll be the one that shows the history of the applications you're recently in. So we'll just swipe it over and close it out. We'll go back into the Bibles on store. I'm going to go back over to Categories and Bible, and you'll see that your application has been uninstalled. So another way to do that, going back to the home screen, is entering in through Settings. Under Device, you'll find that it says Apps, so you'll just select Apps. It'll take you to all the applications you've downloaded and the ones preloaded onto the tablet already. So these are the ones we have preloaded. Um, you can uninstall ones that are preloaded on the tablet. So if you're wanting to do that, um, since I've already uninstalled the other one, I'll just go to one we already have on the tablet. Say I go into Songs. You'll see the uninstall option right here. So you'll just select uninstall, hit OK. The uninstall is finished, so you'll go back to your home screen, and then you'll see Songs is no longer on one of our options. I'm going to show you how to connect your charger to your tablet. So let's go back to our box. So the charger is going to be this one. It's Looks like your average charger. We'll just go ahead and open it up. So this will be your charger. Um, okay, we'll just connect this end to this little connection right in here. And so you do want to be very careful just because it is very thin, but you'll just connect it in here. Using the USB cord and the AC adapter, you'll just connect or hook these two together. This end, the USB end, um, I guess it could go either way since they're both USB ends. It'll just go um, right above where you used to charge your tablet. So you'll connect it in there and then the other end, um, you'll connect to your computer. So once that's done, um, for those of you who have an SD card or would like to download anything onto your tablet, um, that option is available to you using this. And then your SD memory card will go in behind the tablet. On the very bottom, you'll see there's a little slot for it.
Okay. 